Rashi Tiwari. I work as a postdoc with Dr. Ibrahim Garcia at Cornell University. Where I see myself fitting in into um, the project or the team or uh, Dr. Garcia's group is I, I bring in a background which is mechanical, uh, material science and electrical. My dad was an engineer so that was very easy because I, I grew up seeing him, I grew up uh, seeing him break more things than make in the household, but it helped me a lot, you know, because my dad's friends were all engineers, so I can go and talk to them and uh, ask them questions, and they, they were very supportive. I personally find engineering a lot of fun because it's more applied, so you take science and when you apply science you have engineering or your eyes is a sensor you see and then you, you react um, if you're intelligent you see you you know process it in your brain and then react right it's all engineering that's that's what computer does you know it's something you can relate to it's so much fun and um, it has new challenges every day and and it doesn't need that much you know all it needs is dedication and observation that's it My favorite part of the research process is when things don't work right. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's, that's, like, that's like the food for my brain. Every single time something is not working right, or even when I'm doing some simulation um, with circuits and you know, I expected that this should give me more output and it did not, that's when, you know, that, that's when it becomes very exciting for me because that's the problem and that's where you have to find a solution and you know then you start thinking it's not oh I, okay one hour thinking period dedicated to, the, to this no it doesn't work that way say like you even if you go out for running or walking or you know you're reading a book it's still going in your head sometimes you're sleeping and you can sometimes dream about it too it's like okay maybe this will work and then next day you come and try you know change your simulation and try it out and it works and so it's so wonderful. I mean, that feeling when you get things right and things weren't going right, that's, that's the best part of research. People have this notion that if you're an engineer or a scientist, you're something brilliant and you, know, you have to be extraordinary. And I think everyone has something extraordinary in them. It's, it's, it's important to just realize it. You know, I'm an engineer, I'm a researcher, but I do a lot more than just sitting in the lab and you know, running simulations or doing experiments. I'm, I do outreach, I'm part of Society of Women Engineer. I paint, I write, I read. Um, I love to uh, go for a run. You just have to organize yourself a little bit. When I started as a postdoc, I was, I was so confused. But then, you know, if that happens, you just have to take a step back, sit down, and think and then prioritize, you know, that, okay, if I have five different projects, you know, unless they have deadline on the same day, which usually doesn't happen, you know, you just have to prioritize, uh, you know, focus on this first, focus on the next one, then uh, the next one. And, and that helps. So a little bit of organization goes a long way and a little bit of not doing anything also goes a long way. <laughs> When you're doing research, you have to be open about asking questions. And so everyone in your team and everyone you're working with has to be open about and not mind it. Even like in the lab meetings, someone has some issue and they discuss it and everyone like pounces on a problem. It's like, how can we solve this? So that's exciting and that's the fun part of being in the group. I think the philosophy is same. We are all trying to find an answer. Um, I think the difference comes in the approach. Um, with scientists, you know, it, they, they, they like to explore more into one thing. Whereas uh, engineering is more about finding a solution. I think both, is, both are important. I mean, you can't just stick, say one is more important over the other because you do need fundamental understanding. You know, um, force is equal to mass into acceleration is basic, but you have to apply that somewhere in order to make it worthwhile. So that's engineering. Mm -hmm.